We're now two-thirds of the way into the season, which means every W counts towards playoff time. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, presented by MasterCard. Welcome back to PGA Tour Today. I'm Amanda Balionis, and we're previewing the FedEx St. Jude Classic in Memphis, Tennessee. And with it being one of the longest running tournaments on tour, there's a lot to talk about. The TPC Southwind course was renovated in 2007 and changed to a par 70 course, making it the 11th hardest course on tour in 2010 and the third hardest par 70 course on tour. The challenging course is also the perfect place for players to prepare for the second major of the year, the U.S. Open, which is the week after Memphis. Seven former winners of the FedEx St. Jude Classic will be competing in the tournament, steeped in tradition, including defending champion Lee Westwood. Westwood was the first European to win the tournament and is now looking to join Dave Hill, Lee Trevino, and David Toms as the fourth player to ever win consecutive titles here. David Toms, who's had a breakthrough year, looks to continue his consistent play this week as he enters the field as the highest ranked player in FedEx Cup standing, sitting in eighth place. The Crown Plaza Invitational champion should be ready to go after taking the last two weeks off. With his runner-up finish at the Players and then his win the week after, Toms was recently named the PGA Tour Player of the Month. Toms will be playing with Jonathan Bird and Brant Snedeker at 1.27 p.m. Eastern and also look for the young and talented grouping of Keegan Bradley, Jonathan Vegas and Brendan Steele to tee off at 8.36 a.m. Eastern, which you can only find on PGATour.com on Morning Movers. With the St. Jude's Children's Hospital in the title of the tournament, it's obvious that charity is hugely important to this event. Since 1970, the tournament has raised $25 million for St. Jude's Children's Hospital, and this year, the players are taking it upon themselves to make sure that number keeps going up. Brian Gay, who made 25 birdies when he won the tournament in 2009, has pledged to donate $100 for every birdie he makes this week to the Children's Hospital. Bryce Mulder, Tom Fernese Jr., and Brendan Steele have all followed suit, and even Phil Mickelson, who isn't even playing in the tournament, said he'll match Gay's $100 for every birdie the 2009 champion makes. For more on what's going on out in Tennessee, let's start out to our Sirius XM guys, starting with Bill Rosinski. Amanda Lee Westwood is here to defend his title, and to say the least, he's oozing with confidence. Now, sometimes that oozing makes you think he's a little cocky, but that's just Lee Westwood. Let me tell you something about Lee Westwood that people don't know. He sent a letter after he won here a year ago to this golf course and to the club and its members. He wanted to make sure that all the members got a copy of this letter. In it, he thanked them for their hospitality a year ago. He said he would be here to defend his title. He thanked FedEx for all they do for this tournament and the volunteers who are a big part of every stop on the PGA Tour. That's something very nice that Lee Westwood did. Now, he's going to have to battle the elements this week, not wind or rain. No, it's the heat. And in my best Ed McMahon imitation, how hot is it? Let's find out from Bob Stevens. Bill, it's going to be so hot you could do racks of those famous Memphis ribs right here on the first tee. But seriously, folks, the TPC Southwind taking extra care to take care of the players this week. There are going to be tents on a number of tees to give the guys a chance to grab a little shade. And there's going to be plenty of icy water to put those cold towels in. Oh, keep the players at least a little bit cooled off during the weekend. Best thing, though, that this heat has done, and it, after all, it is Memphis in June, is that it has made this golf course an absolute absolutely perfect carpet to play on. Uh, the Zoysia and the Bermuda really exploding after the May rains and this heat. It's going to be firm and fast all week long. A couple of players have told me how perfect the greens are rolling to begin the week. We'll be here, of course, all week long on the PGA Tour Network. Our opening round coverage begins at noon Eastern. That's 11 o'clock Graceland time. Amanda? Thanks, Bob. Have fun out there this week. Coverage begins on the Golf Channel at 3 p.m. Eastern, and you can always just keep it on PGATour.com while you're at work to stay up to date on the latest scores, news, and highlights. PGA Tour Today is presented by MasterCard, which invites you to play like a PGA Tour player at select TPC courses. MasterCard is a proud sponsor of the PGA Tour.